What if instead we do something like this? Oh well. Well, no fuss, no drama, but let's just say that data analyst might be a little bit cooked unless you're an agile data analyst who can catch up the latest tools. The research by Altrix has found that 95% of data analysts are already experiencing faster project adoption by using AI tools. And clearly this is only going to increase over time. If you do a little bit of research, you'll see that this is not gonna be a problem for analysts who can adapt and integrate AI tools into everything they're doing, right? And you might even get career opportunities out of it as you're gonna be able to leverage your knowledge and experience to a higher leverage tasks. But if you don't do that, then let's jump right into how we can leverage agents to write SQL queries for us so we can use natural language. The high level of how it's going to work is that this is gonna be an input in natural language. The Langchain agent is going to take it, use OpenAI under the hood to generate a SQL query, use the toolkit by Langchain to query the database and get back the results and turn them into natural language response. Uh, we're gonna use a very simple, um, just a toy example database with employees data, just to illustrate the concept. And so, just to show you what we're after, basically, if I'm just running with SQL tools in VS Code, um, you can see that this is the, the generated data. Everything is going to be in the tutorial in the Python notebook that I'm going to share in the repo right in the comments. So just to get us started, set up your open API key in the .n file, um, and then uh, pip install everything required. Obviously, in my case, it's already installed. And then just so you get an idea of the packages we're using. So we're using SQLite in memory uh, just to get us going and some common boilerplate like pandas, matplotlib. But then what's interesting is specific Langchain ones. The chat OpenAI one to chat with the OpenAI model. Uh, obviously, um, the create SQL agent. Uh, we're defining the agent type, the SQL and the SQL database toolkit. So a little bit of exploratory data analysis right here, you'll see. So if we're counting the number of employees, you'll see here, we've got those four employees. And so uh, if we want to visualize this just for a second, and I'm running this live, uh, if we want to go for, for the average or the mean uh, and, and test the agent, then you get an idea of, of what we have right here. And so our database, all in all, is just these four columns um, with, with those four rows. Uh, so if we want to count the number of employees, it's going to be four. Okay, so jumping into the gist of it, once we load our API key, then we are setting up the agent. And so um, this is the, the community package by Langchain to chat with OpenAI. Uh, we're gonna set the temperature to zero. We don't want this to be very creative. In this case, I'm using GPT uh, 3.5 Turbo, but obviously you can use a more advanced one um, and it you might get even, even better results. Um, for this toy example, I tested it and, and this is just enough. And we are using our in-memory DB. So we are defining what's the LLM, what's the DB, and then we need, like any other agent, we need the toolkit. In this case, we're using the community, uh, the, the, the Langchain um, database toolkit. So it takes as an argument, the DB and the LLM. It's extremely straightforward. And here is here is the agent. Here it is, our baby. And so um, other than the LLM and the toolkit, we're passing, uh, the, actually this is the default. So we're passing the agent type, which in this case is the zero shot, uh, React and, um, you might want to play and uh, check different, depending on your on your uh, query, how many tables it might require and how complex or, or not really indexed is your database. Uh, you might want to play with the agent type. Uh, you might want to play with the temperature, although I would not recommend necessarily. Um, and if that's interesting, uh, maybe at some point I'll do an overview of like what's happening uh, in the next video under the hood. But for now, um, what we want to look at is we want this to be verbose so we see how the agent thinks. I'm just going to let it run in the meantime. And while this is not in the documentation, so Langchain, if you see this, please uh, update the docs and I might help with that. But uh, we want this to parse the errors. And so we're going we're gonna to run it. We're just going to ask how many employees are in the database. Uh, so we expect the answer to be four, right? 
example, as you can see here, and let's see how the agent thinks in real time. So um, it, it gets started, it takes the, the list tables, it like, it's, that's um, a built-in action right there. Um, it, takes the, it finds the, uh, the, the employees table, I should query the employees table to count the number of employees. So there's good comprehension of what we're after. Uh, it runs the query, uh, there it is. I know the final answer, there's reasoning there. <laughs> and then there it is, so that's four employees. Uh, and then we actually get, uh, it's, it's being translated to natural language as, as we expect. And so if you go back to our uh, flow of our diagram, our input is how many employees are in there. Uh, it goes, it uses the API uh, to go to OpenAI and, and generate the query, as we've seen. And it uses the toolkit to actually run the query and return the result and turn them into natural language. So pretty much a simple flow right there. Yes, this is a toy example, but this can definitely translate to more complex scenarios. And I'll talk about it in a second. If we go back to our next question, do we have Alice in the database? So that's a little bit more advanced, right? So let's see, same actions, right? It finds the table, um, it understands the, the, the schema, right? Here it is, there you go. And then it says, I can see there's Alice and then please table, uh, it runs, it, it double checks itself and says, yes, Alice, like it reasons through the reason. It says, yes, there's Alice with ID, so-and-so, country, salary, and it comes back to us. Um, there are a bunch of next steps here, adding more tables uh, and requiring joins. So maybe that's something I'll try with, you know, using different keys and just looking at how the agent reasons through finding the necessary keys to join tables and get to a more complex query. Uh, error handling, so how the agent could reiterate on error handling as Cursor is doing today with linter errors already happening to play with the style of what you would get back from the agent. So maybe in your prompt, you can ask for very short, like one word answer uh, and see how it goes. Guardrails is really interesting. Um, like how do you prevent from like SQL injection or anything like that? And clearly you want your queries to uh, be performant, right? So. Um, how you can use self-hosted or smaller LLMs to get to the same results and how you can use caching um, or ask even the agent to create a caching layer for the common queries. Wise man said, the future belongs to those who can effectively collaborate with AI agents to solve complex data challenges.